Seven. Gonna eat a quick bowl of cereal and then we're gonna head off in our truck. You see it outside the window there? She's idling, warming up. Then we're gonna go in and get our estimates done on our damage on our truck and see when we can get her fixed. Hopefully, we can get her fixed this week. That's what I'm hoping for. Guess we'll find out. Good morning, world. The sun's coming up. Oh, let's get her done today. Let's get her done. Well, we got the truck here. Our first estimate is coming from Peterbilt Body Shop here in Winnipeg. They have a good reputation with a lot of people I know for good body work and good prices. So we're going to go see if the rumors are true and get their estimate and then we're taking the truck or getting it taken down whatever you want to call it to the next body shop which is a little further down the road and see what they say of course diesel came with on this adventure good boy diesel good boy you make this look good doesn't matter if i got a ripped off fender or if i got you sitting in my passenger seat right handsome man oh quiet man you're embarrassing me yeah whatever uh so uh he came out here took a bunch of pictures of the fender and whatnot and uh he's gonna get the estimate over to the company and the insurance and then yeah we're gonna go get one more estimate right now so that we have two to go on and we'll take the best one and also how fast they can get me into the shop will play a big part in who i choose to go with because i want as little downtime as possible but i mean if they can get me in the shop tomorrow but they're gonna charge me so and so much more, you know, it's decisions, decisions, decisions. Being an adult is all about decisions. Decisions that affect you and affect your life every day. Every day. So you guys who live with your mom and dad still, you're still in school, enjoy these days. Okay? Because once you're on your own, everything changes. I remember when I was 18, all I wanted to do was get out there on my own, move out, you know, have my own house, my own car, yeah, I'm independent. There's a lot that goes into being independent. It took me years to realize that, trial and error, trial and error. I'm so fortunate to have the parents and the family that I do who supported me. You know, I'd trip, I'd fall, they'd help me back up. Then I go and trip and fall over the exact same thing again. And then they'd help me back up and say, oh, try again, try again. And then I trip and fall again. And then they'd be just like, come on now. No, they wouldn't say that. <laughs> Derek Sandblasting and Painting Limited. They're the next candidates. Will you fix my truck for cheaper? Guess we'll find out. I just wanted to talk to them about possibly replacing my bumper with a moose bumper instead of just the regular bumper. And it looks like it's a possibility. So uh, we'll see. I'm, get, I'm a little distracted here though. Have you ever had those like a couple of just random things happen to you? Just, you know, just random, like two random guys just sword fighting in the ditch for no reason. <laughs> we don't know who they are. But there's a duel happening. <laughs> that is hilarious.
Yeah, I don't know. Uh. <laughs> Random sword fight? Okay. <laughs> you got the you got the mechanics over here all watching. <laughs> it's like, what are they doing? Yeah. Diesel, what is this? What's on the door, man? Somebody was at my house. Somebody left something on my door. Let's find out what it is. Let's find out what it is. I got a goodie bag. Goodie bag. Looks like there's some treats in there. For me. I got a housewarming present. Welcome to town. Some of the townspeople left me some cakes. Look. Look, 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 look. It's got a bow on it and everything. Look at that. Some nice bows right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that looks good. Oh. Mmm. 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 Oh, I've got Wilson in here. Okay. Oh, yes. Yes. Thank you, neighbors. Who's from? This is this. Ah, yes, I know who this is from. I have friends in this town already. Hey, Diesel, we got friends. How are you, Batman? Thank you for the nice housewarming present. My neighbor said that he saw you here. He told me when I got home that, uh, hey, there was, a, there was somebody at your house today. He keeps an eye on my house, you know. And uh, I got to the door, and yeah, there were some, ca some cakes and treats on the door for me. A little housewarming present. Cool. It says, my name is Troy, and I'm 10 years old. My grandpa showed me your videos online. I watch your videos every day. I live in Minnesota. Have you ever drove through there? All the time. I love your state. It's very much like Manitoba. Very much. Even on a map, if you look at it on a map, Minnesota and Manitoba are even the same shape. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Whew. Yeah, they're even the same shape. And the slogans used to be very sim similar too. Uh, Minnesota's slogan on their license plate, it says land of 10,000 lakes, right? Well, Manitoban's slogan or thing on their plates used to be land of 100,000 lakes. So it's like the same thing. We're just, we got a little bit more land, but you have more people. Very similar. And my house where I live is actually very close to Minnesota. Uh, I probably live like half an hour from Minnesota. I live very close. Okay, who is this? Who is this from Swan River? Uh, didn't have a name on there. Pam sent me a letter here. Watching my videos, and you're moving to the big city. Good luck in the big city. This is. She sent me uh, several letters before. I don't know if she wants me to read this all out, but uh, she says, you're a classy guy. Thank you for all you do. Smiley face. Thank you. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much of that she wants me to read. Uh, it's talking about her job and stuff. But yeah, thanks for the letter. I did get it. I read it. And I I'm thankful for people when they do send me letters, take the time out of their day to do that. Cause, you know, like I said before, it makes me just want to go out there and make another video. But guys, remember the P.O. box is closed indefinitely for this time being. I don't know when I'm going to get another P.O. box that's not on the first or not on the top of my priority list. Uh, but I do thank you for all the stuff that you guys do send. I'll probably open up another one soon. I probably will. I just don't know when yet. I don't have any plans. But so the P.O. box is closed. I think it's at the bottom of some of the videos yet, but uh, I should really take that out of there. I should probably go do that right now before I forget. Diesel, you don't forget this one, man. Thank you very much. We got another letter here from Matthew, Little Trucker 89. Where are you from? Where are you from? Linden, North Dakota. Wow, you're pretty close to me too. Thank you for all your work. Really enjoy watching you and Diesel on a daily basis. Well, thank you. And he attached, he sent me a business card for himself too. It's got all his personal information on it though, so I won't show him. But, 
Thank you very much. Trucking with a passion since 2014. Right on. Fresh trucker. Thanks for sending me the letter. I enjoy reading them. You guys hand write them too, which is amazing. And I save them all. Don't worry, they don't get thrown away. I save every letter and everything you guys ever sent to me. It's all set. You want to see it? You don't believe me? Fine, I'll show you. Light switch. I always think the light switch is over there for some reason. Alright. See if I can find it here for you guys. All right, guys, so we're quickly running into town. I'm gonna go to my sister's house. My dad's gonna meet us there. We gotta pick something up. Okay. Uh, All right, well, there's a tree. Yeah, there's a tree right there. Oh! Oh, what's the moor behind you, Josh? I can't hear what you're saying. Why is it tilting? <laughs> Why is it tipping? <laughs> I'm just this strong. <laughs> Super strong. Am I going the right direction? I don't know. Wait, watch Cheryl's shed. Oh, yeah. This Her might be a little... Yeah, my other shed. else working back here. <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going. It's not all the way on though, eh? <laughs> Too strong man. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta push it right against the bush there. <coughs> gotta pull it this way to get it off of that brick on that side. There we go. And it fits. Right. <laughs> 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 yeah, strap her down. Straps? Who uses straps? Just drive slow. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's got to get in the back. Where's it gonna go, right? Yeah. It can go over. <laughs> <laughs> well, if the mattress can go flying, I guess the shed can go flying too. Right? Yeah. The last time we didn't strap something down, it ended up on the other side of the freeway. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna be professional? Oh yeah, totally professional. <laughs> totally professional. Absolutely, no question about it. Well, we got Dad lining up the shed. I'm gonna put it under that tree over there. All right, so the plan is to put that shed, like I was saying, right underneath that tree. Oop. Right under here, we have a nice little spot for it. I just need to build a, a floor for it eventually. Yeah. But for now, this will do, just for this year until, until next year. Set it on the ground and next year we can easily lift it up and... Yeah, it's very light. Or, what am I saying? It's terribly heavy, we're just that strong. There you go. Yeah, it's terribly Hoping heavy. you'd come out with the truth. Yeah. I'm gonna push. I'm gonna slide it down. And... Diesel, come on, come help me push. Diesel, come on. I <laughs> know you want the ride instead. <laughs> what size is the door on? Okay, it's down. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. I'll bring my side over. How's that look? Does it look like it's in the right spot? Yeah. So. We're hidden in the trees. The trees are sort of nice to grow around it. <laughs> yeah. And I got to build the floor yet anyways. I was telling Dad. Yeah. I'll have to level it off next year. And for now, it's fine. Yeah, you can just uh, pre-cut the floor. So you lift up the building a little bit, slide it underneath here, screw it down on it, once you have it where you want it. Wind shouldn't catch it there though, right? No, I don't think so. You can throw maybe a couple of pegs in there somewhere just to hold it, just in case if we have a storm. Yeah, that tree should shelter it though. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, I'll probably put firewood in here. Yeah, that'd be neat. Fire would be nice and dry, it's the only thing is it's across the yard from the fire pit. But... Yeah, a little bit of a trek. Maybe you want to move your fire pit. Singing off tune. Sit. Your coffee pot's working. Okay. Hey, Diesel. Hey, Diesel. You're glowing, man. 